What's going on everyone? My name is Victor and today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. Today we will be covering Kid Cudi's Man on the Moon 3 Hyper Real Big Orange Moon Effect. Not only will I be showing you how to make a moon like this and put it into a stationary scene, but we'll also be tracking it into moving scenes. And don't feel intimidated because it's seriously super easy. I actually did this effect recently on a music video that I shot in Joshua Tree. Here is how that footage looked in the music video, but I'm going to use this for the stationary shot and we're going to edit that right now. So to make the moon, first thing you're going to want to do is take a good photo of the moon. If you don't have a good photo of the moon or the capabilities of getting a good detailed photo of the moon, then you can download one for free like I did on Unsplash. Now you should already have your footage in After Effects. Now add that photo of the moon to your comp and then we're going to mask out the moon. I use the ellipse tool and then just resize the mask to fit the moon. Now click on your moon photo and pre-compose that photo alone and make sure that the leave all attributes box is clicked. All right, now we're gonna color the moon. So click into that moon pre-comp and then create a new orange solid. Hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity settings for that solid and lower the opacity so you can kind of see the moon through it. Now we're going to mask out a portion of the moon. So what we're trying to do is make a gradient ramp of orange color on this moon. So you're gonna wanna bump up the feather a lot. You can change it to your liking, but it's important that it's a smooth blend. All right, now you're gonna create a new orange solid, but this one's gonna be a little darker and then go back to the original orange solid copy that mask by holding command and clicking C while you have the mask highlighted and then go to your new orange solid and hit command V and now paste the mask on there. Now you can reposition that mask to just be a little lower down on that moon. So now we're continuing this gradient ramp of orange colors. So now we just wanna create a little bit of a shadow on the moon. So create a new black solid, do the same thing, just mask out a little portion of that moon, bump up the feather, and then change the opacity wherever you see fit. So you can click out of that pre-comp into your normal composition, see how that moon looks, Go back in, make necessary adjustments if you're not quite liking the way that it's all blending, but eventually you should get a look like this. All right, so that is how you do it with a stationary shot. Pretty simple, but now we're gonna take that exact same moon and apply it to a moving shot. So this shot here was from the same music video, but basically the camera's on a glide cam and we're moving backwards. So we just want to put the moon in the sky, but keep it at the same spot in the sky no matter where the camera moves. So go ahead and put that moon into your scene and resize and reposition it to wherever you want it to be. And then if you play that through a little bit, you'll see that the moon doesn't look realistic at all so now we need a track it's also worth mentioning that this was shot with a lower aperture so everything in the background is pretty blurry so if you want to blur out your moon too you can just add a camera lens blur or a gaussian blur which is what i did and then that'll blur out your moon now click on your footage and then go down to the tracker and track motion now you want to track something in your scene that is stationary you wouldn't want to track like a moving car or a bird or a walking person anything like that so i went with lights on a building in the background now let that tracker analyze through your scene and then once that is done go layer new null object and then change the edit target to that null and then hit apply now all of that tracking information is on your null object. So you can now parent the moon to the null and now it should stay exactly where you want it to in the sky. And that's how you do the Kid Cudi and large surreal moon in the sky and how you can track it into a scene. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below and then subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.